From the Global Maritime Studios. RCMP won't confirm that they raided Simpson's property last week. Hello, my name is Mike Simpson, Rick Simpson's oldest son. On November 25th, 2009, approximately 10.30, I showed up to check on my father's property to find three unmarked police vehicles at the end of my father's driveway and RCMP four-wheel drive in the middle of my father's driveway. I pulled in the end of the driveway and walked towards the house. I got about halfway towards the house when I was surrounded by nine police officers with their hands on their guns. I then asked them what the hell they were doing there. They said they were there to serve a warrant for cultivation of cannabis. I then told them they were standing on a 1,500 acre land grant, that my father's property is a country within a country, and that they had no right to be on that property. They then said that a judge had signed the warrant and they could do as they pleased. I told them I was the caretaker of the property and I wanted to see the warrant. They would not show it to me. I then asked each and every one of them for their business cards. They would not give me their business cards, which by their law, they are required to do so. They then ran me off my family's land and I was forced to watch them ransack my father's house from the end of his driveway. I watched them carry things out of his house that they had left from other raids on his property. After they were done ransacking my family's property, as they backed a trailer load of plastic junk and a fluorescent light shade out of the driveway, Officer Timmy Hunter came over to me and I told him, in the past they had taken 2,800 marijuana plants off my father's property. He ended up with a $2,000 fine. I then asked Timmy Hunter what they thought they were going to accomplish with a trailer load of junk plastic that they had left the last time they had raided. He just stood there with a dumb look on his face, then asked me how I liked my Volkswagen car. As soon as they had left the property, I went into my dad's house to see how much damage was done. I was sickened by the damage. Before my father left for his trip, I installed a video surveillance system, which was clearly posted on every door and every window of the house. The police stole three cameras that were in plain sight for everyone to see. They did not have a warrant for surveillance gear that was legally posted, but they stole it anyway, in an attempt to cover their tracks, in my opinion. They tore the house apart looking for the recorder, but failed, because it wasn't in the house. The things they took didn't make any sense to me. They took a bag of noodles that my father had brought back from his last trip to Europe. They were hemp noodles, with a hemp leaf on the package. So right now, those noodles are in Alberta, being tested for THC. It's only going to cost the taxpayers $20,000 for the RCMP to find out they took a bag of noodles. The fact that they worked so hard to try to find anything to charge my dad with tells me the raid was nothing but a witch hunt, and that they would stop at no lengths to try and find something to charge my father with. It's been two weeks since the raid on my father's property, and still not one of the five stations involved will own up to what they did. So I had no choice but to upload some footage to prove that they were there. Let's see them try and say they weren't there now. People are told we live in a free country. When it's a crime to cure cancer, just what kind of country are we living in? Marijuana fights cancer. And what, what Rick Simpson has done that is so important is that he's shown us that to get the full medicinal impact of this plant, you cannot smoke it. You must eat a lot of cannabinoids. And the easiest way to do that is to make oil and eat the oil. If you are seriously ill, you need to eat about a gram a day for 60 days. But when you're done, 70% of the cancer patients are cancer free. Rick started giving away oil for free, growing it in his backyard. Hundreds of patients he treated for free. So the Canadian government arrested Rick Simpson, convicted him of being a drug dealer, and while he's at the Cannabis Cup now, just now, they have raided his property for the third time and are prepared to arrest Rick again when he returns to Canada. It is unconscionable to treat a saint in this manner. Rick Simpson is the freedom fighter of the year. Rick.